it's time for Jamaica to get back to normal. This assertion from Prime Minister Andrew Holness in Parliament on Thursday, where he also served notice that the days of restrictions under the Disaster Risk Management Act, the DRMA, are numbered. I believe, Madam Speaker, that the DRMA has reached its limit. I believe, Madam Speaker, that the country has reached its tolerance limit for restrictions. And I have indicated a few weeks ago that very soon we will have to bring the DRMA measures to an end. Uh, I'm giving notice because, Madam Speaker, one thing has been clear in the management of the pandemic uh, is that there is no general agreement as to what should be done. And any action you take is subject to high criticism, some unfair, some without basis, uh, and some with great political consequences. The Prime Minister also announced a further easing of the national curfew measures for the next two weeks. During this period, churches will also see an ease in restrictions. The curfew hours will change from 10 p.m. nightly to 11 p.m nightly until 5 a.m. the following morning until 5 a.m. on February 25th, 2022. The current maximum of 100 persons allowed to physically attend worship services will be replaced with a capacity limit determined based on the size of the place of worship. The maximum number of persons allowed to attend will be based on the size of the area designated for, for worship divided by 36 square feet. Mr. Holness is cautioning Jamaicans not to let down their guard since the pandemic is not yet over. There is no room for complacency. While the government is widening the guardrails to allow more economic activity, citizens must continue to diligently follow the protocols to keep themselves, their families and loved ones safe. Persons who are unvaccinated particularly the elderly and those who are immunocompromised or have comorbidities, remain at high risk and must exercise a high degree of caution.